the gel press print to project series. Uh, today I am playing with pattern, mainly finger painting on the gel plate, adding a little bit of pattern and texture with tools and some extra paint pens, allowing it to dry and then picking it up. And I've created these almost like um, vintage roses, it's almost like a vintage rose pattern on there. One of the great things about creating your own papers is that when you then use them in your projects, the whole project is yours and there's really a million things you could do with them. This one is a straightforward origami gift box, loads of um, YouTube tutorials to create something like that and I've created a little tag to go with it. And because I've done several prints and pickup prints, I've got coordinating papers so I've used my Sizzix dies to create that kind of thing. And finally, I've layered up some of my papers and then added a stamped image to create another tag. It's a straightforward technique, it's a lot of fun, you can create lots of coordinated papers. Come and join me. I'm using my 8x10 gel plate, I think any size will do for this, and I've picked out some colours that I'm going to start with. I'm going to create some um, finger patterns on the plate because anything that dries on the plate I can lift off with a pickup layer so that allows me to play with some pattern on the plate first I've picked out some yellows reds and pinks and I might also use a paint pen because this also can be pulled off with a um, pickup print now I've also got some silicon tools so I'm going to use these to create some pattern as well if you don't have silicon tools you could just use the wrong end of a paintbrush to make pattern, just don't use anything too sharp. Now I'm just starting by painting a circle with my finger. I don't want this to be too thick, because I want to be able to just lift off a nice thin layer. And then while that's wet, I can just scribble into that and take that pattern outwards. I'm going to repeat that all over the plate. While those are drying I'm going to fill in the gaps with some smaller circles and also just some um, polka dots with the tip of the silicon tool. some extra polka dots now with my white Posca and also I might just add bits of detail around the edge of some of these spirals. When you do your pickup print if you want to keep those colours true and as they are use a white or a light buff or you can use um, a colour which will give you different results I'm going to go in with sky blue. is my first print. Now I've still got quite a lot left here so I'm going to try now with a different colour and see if I can pull off a little bit more. 